Hi there. My name's Pauline and I'm an artist and I make, among other things, I make kites. Sometimes big kites, sometimes little kites. So today we are going to make the herring gull kite. So if you don't know what a herring gull is, look it up. It's actually what we call a seagull. It's a type of gull. And what we've got are two sheets of paper with an image of the gull, two different sides of the gull on the paper. So have a look at that and check that you've got everything else. So you're going to need that, you're going to need some wool or yarn or if you haven't got wool maybe some cotton on a reel would do it. Uh, you're going to need two drinking straws. Two straws like this, doesn't matter what colour they are, we're going to stick them together to make one long one like this. Um, something that you cut from a plastic bag and uh, we'll cut strips from that and make it into tails for the kite. So we're going to need polythene and we're going to need sticky tape on a dispenser if you've got it. We're going to need a pair of scissors and probably a couple of pens and maybe a pencil. I think that's about it. So let's get cracking. Take the two halves of the bird and with a bit of sticky tape Stick down the middle, the belly of the bird, just to hold it together while you do the cutting. So make sure that they're exactly balanced, same front and back. Okay, so now you've got what looks like a big wide bird. Now is the best time if you want to colour it, to colour it in. There's not an awful lot of colouring that you need to do onto a... Um, a gull because it's mostly white it's kind of gray it's got black bits on the end you might like to color in here's a way we could color in this black bit so that is black wing tips it's actually got some gray wings but the key thing it's got is a yellow beak so I'm going to color the beak two beaks because there's one on each side I'm going to color them I'm going to leave a little bit there because the herring gull has a little red spot. If you've got time, you could do draw a couple of legs and feet on here. Have a look at the pictures of the birds and you'll see what would work well. You could colour in here, you could shade that in with a pencil. You could have sort of grey wings, you could make the shape of the tummy. So that's up to you if you've got time. Next job is to cut out. I'm going to take scissors and whiz all the way around with the scissors. So starting at the tail, I'm not going to cut all the way in and out those inny out bits, but you might like to. If you've got time, I'm going to cut quickly up here just to show you what we're doing. All the way around the edge, maybe a little bit of wiggling. And the top. The next job is going to be to make a fold down here. And then if you turn it back and fold the other way, there's a dotted line. You can follow the dotted line. Fold that a few times and maybe press it with your fingernail. When we open that out, keep that middle bit folded and we're going to put a bit of sticky tape down there. It's perhaps a bit too much to do the whole length, so I'll do it in two pieces. One there and one up to the top. Okay, so now we've got a bird with a body sticking out. That's looking good. What's next on the instructions? We need a spreader spar to hold the wings out. Two straws with one slipped inside the other. So we take two straws and we turn the kite over. Hmm. Here's the thing. These little marks on here, I actually want them to be on the other side because that's where we're working on. So if you can see through, just copy that mark on there. You can, I can just about see it through there. You can lie the body down while we do this job. So two straws. We're going to join them together, the long sides, but first we're going to snip a bit off. So find the bendy end, if it's a bendy straw, find the end here. We're going to snip a bit off to make it a bit shorter. We now need to take one of the straws and nip it tightly to make a little crease in it. You could do this by cutting a split in it, but nipping it usually works. And then tuck that end 
inside the other straw. What I want it to do is reach from that red line to that red line. That's what length it needs to be. But I'm going to fix it there on the outside line. So I'm going to get a bit of sticky tape and fix that just there. Spread that down there and then take another bit of sticky tape across the bendy bit. Try and keep the straw in the right angle so that it'll reach across to here. Now what we're going to do, instead of fixing it to the red mark, we're going to fix to the mark across from it. And what that does is it makes a kind of a triangle shape between the back of the kite and the straw. It's a little bit difficult to do. You might need to get somebody to help you hold the kite at this stage. But I'm going to stick that down there. And then if there's any sticky tape sticking over, tuck it under. And then another piece across the bendy bit, because we don't want the bendy bit to bend. And then, actually, we also don't want this bit sliding out, so I want to stick another little bit across there. Okay, that's good. One bird kite. Shape's looking good. Now you could trim out these bits here, you don't need to. Give them a little trim, but it can cause you a problem because it could make the beak flap apart like that. So if it does that, tiny bit of sticky tape, let's just stick that back together again. Because it'll work better in the wind if it's fixed. Wrap it round. So the next job is going to be to make a tail. We need this plastic bag that I showed you earlier. This is a plastic carrier bag. You could use a bin bag. And what you're going to do is cut a strip from the bottom of it. So we're going to fold that up four or five times and I'm going to cut strips. One, two, three. Open those out. So when they're opened into hoops, you need to cut them together once. So that what we've got now is a big tail. A long tail. So I'm going to twist that together, a bit like a sweetie wrapper, twist, 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 so that I can tie it in a knot. So that's going to go like that, pull, and we're done. And then that tail fixes onto the back of the kite here, right down at the bottom, the tail of the bird. Sticky tape. Okay, so that's the tail attached. Instruction seven, we need to make a flying line. So we need a bit of wool, a ball of wool here. We need about five meters of it. So that would be about a meter. Let's have one meter, two, three, four, five. Five meters should do it. We don't want the bird to fly away too far because it's only a lightweight little paper bird so it can't really fly very high in the sky because the wind would be a bit too strong. So we're going to make a little hole in here, just where that dot is. I'm going to use a pencil or maybe a biro just to poke through there. With my finger behind, the biro doesn't want to go in, let's try the pencil. We could maybe use a cocktail stick or something. Anyway, there we go, that's gone through. And then in order to put the wool in, I'm going to poke that through again and just use the pencil to push it through. I'm going to tie this on. So cross over, wrap it through, cross over again. Let's have another one for look. Three knots. Now this end, we need to make something to tie this on because otherwise we're just going to lose it. So I've got a bit of packaging here using. You want the card to be fairly stiff, so I'm going to double this card and put a bit of sticky tape on it to hold it. Sticky tape round the edges. That should make it quite strong and it'll hold together. It needs to be tied on, otherwise, if you get to the end of your line, you can't like just fly away. So I want this tied onto here. Make a little cut, notch the line through. Hope you're good at knots. If you're not, you will be soon. Three knots again. One, two, three, four. Ooh, if it tangles up like that, 
go really carefully, jiggle it about and it should come apart again. You don't need to count it. Let's just get it wound up. And there we go, right up to where the kite is. And we're going to make another little cut, is to lock the line in so that when I go out to fly my kite, I can let out as much as I like and I can lock it again. That's the kite ready to go. Let's take it outside and see if it'll fly out there.